group as a, as a whole. Um, just what was your message to them just post game, and then just what did it mean to just finish the season with the group that you didn't have out there before? No, I was just honored to be that coach. Um, first as assistant, then an interim head coach. It was just a joy every morning. I got a chance to give them a, um, a talk and go over plays. or And I just told them it's really not about X and O's. It's about life with me. I'm more a life coach than an interim coach, a head coach, assistant coach. I just want to teach them about life. And hopefully they got some of those um, truths that I try to give them. And uh, I just want them to continue to have uncommon faith and be grateful for every day. So that was my message, paraphrasing it. Sit out just about the fight that your group showed, you know, and, and runs throughout today. Oh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to watch those young guys at the end, and they were still fighting. I was still coaching. Um, I just love it. Um, I just love to coach. I just love to have energy and um, and enjoy life. And I just want them to have the same spirit, no matter if they're going to be here with Brooklyn, uh, no matter what team they're going to be at. Um, you know, a year ago I was coaching overtime elite um, in Spain, and I had the same goddamn energy I had today. So it don't change with me. So hopefully they understand that wherever they go, um, bring the joy, bring the enthusiasm, because no one can take that away from you. And you can always um, be in the Hall of Fame, and my Hall of Fame is hope, optimism, and faith. Um, and hopefully they uh, take that from me. Kevin, I guess when you look at just this game, just kind of how this overall, just kind of how the season went. How would you just look at this game and say, you know, what? I guess did you have time to kind of process your emotions as the seconds went down. Just think about what the season meant to you, as you were saying. Yeah, it just meant everything. I, I mean, I keep saying it, but it meant everything to me to have this opportunity. Uh, a lot of people don't get an opportunity to have head coaching experience on their resume. So, you know, I thank the organization for believing in me. But most important, I thank my coaching staff and then the players. Uh, they could have easily jumped out the boat uh, when the change was happening, but they stayed in it. Uh, you see when some of the wins we had and the close losses that we had, they, they kept fighting. And um, that's one thing I always remember about this group. What do you, uh, when you look at this team, obviously, like a lot of injuries down the stretch, but just throughout the year, what do you view as the biggest areas of need for improvement, you know, whether from a roster perspective or just from what you saw coaching wise? Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to leave that up to Sean. Um, I'm just, you know, they had a lot of heart, uh, they had a lot of belief, and I want them to continue to have that. But roster moves and all that stuff, I'm going I'm to leave that alone. Basketball-wise. Basketball-wise, continue to do what we do. We, we know the recipe. Uh, we had one game where the recipe wasn't the recipe, and we had like 19 turnovers and we won. But that was one game, Megan. Uh, we had that one. Uh, but the other time, the recipe was a recipe. We can't turn the ball over. We got to get good possessions. But, you know, us shooting the ball is great. And then, you know, you have Nick and Noah down there. That was two good, you know, players that can, you know, anchor your defense. And then Dennis came in and kind of changed the complexion of our team a little bit with his energy and then you know you just want Mikhail and CJ and them to continue to play hard and you know I want to mention Mikhail just playing every game of the season doing what he did this off season um, he's just a wonderful human being to be around and to have that as a as an attribute to be always available is a great attribute availability um, and a lot of people don't talk about that but he played every game and that's like remarkable, um, and hopefully that streak continues to to, to live. You uh, you punted a question on the roster to Sean. I'm curious. Obviously, you guys will always have exit interviews anyway. But I mean, do you have uh, an interview set up with Sean specifically for throwing your hat in the ring? Has that already happened, or has the body of, has your body of work kind of spoken for you in that regard? Mm -hmm. I just think God got a special place for me. Um, as always, I keep my faith in him. I have had an uh, interview with Sean already. Um, and then we just go from there. It's out of my control. Um, I just love the opportunity to coach this team. Um, you know, it's been some positive feedback, what I've got from, you know, players and, of course, my peers, um, the other coaches staff, all the coaches. Um, so it's just a wonderful thing. Uh, the unknown is great. You know, you don't know the unknown. I just love when I don't know the unknown because it makes my faith stronger in God. So, you know, I'm going to keep my faith. He never, He's never let me down. Like I say, I was over there coaching in Spain a year ago, and now I'm coaching the NBA team. So that's how much faith I believe in God. Coach, you took over this team during the All-Star break, and, you know, they're trying to shake things up. 
and you've spoken about what you've been trying to teach the players. How has this past, you know, whatever it is, two or three months impacted you as a coach? Uh, I've been everything. Uh, when I'm talking to them, I think the first sermon, sermon starts with you. Uh, so when I'm talking, I'm really talking to myself, encouraging myself. So um, it, it meant everything. Like you say, you don't get these opportunities, no matter if it's 28 games or it's 1,028 games. I, I mean, you know, that's not out of, in my control. But what my control is, is understand the joy, understand the passion that I show up with each and every day, the level five energy. And that, that does not change, no matter what the situation in life. Um, because that's what I want to teach them. Like, we had some ups and downs. Some guys played, some guys they didn't play. But you never let anybody steal your joy no matter what. Um, and I think that's under your control. That's the perspective. Um, and I want to just continue to have that perspective. A lot of people thought I was buried, but I was planning to have this opportunity. And um, I thank God for it. Kevin, last one. looking at this season in more of a you know, broader lens, do you think there's anything that could have been done differently to you know, help this team have better results just across the board? Uh, differently? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we had some opportunities there. I think, you know, you go through life, you don't look back with regrets and what things happen. It's like, can you, you know, can you grow from it? And I think this team grew throughout the years. I know they grew under JV that did a a wonderful job. He's just a great man, and I uh, want to give him his praise because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for JV believing in me. So he built a foundation, and, you know, unfortunately that couldn't continue, and I had to step into a challenging situation, which I stepped in, and hopefully I, you know, made him proud. Hopefully I made the organization proud, but hopefully I made my – hopefully I made the fan base proud of how this team tried to compete the last 28 games. So in abroad, I don't think – you know, you can't look back and regret, CJ. I just believe you can't do that and what could have happened. I don't live in what ifs. Um, I live in the present, um, and that's the only thing I control. And the present's nothing's wrong. Only times it gets wrong when we look in the past and we look in the future. But in the present now, it's nothing's wrong. And I just believe that we got through this season. And I know guys are going to come back in the summertime and work their tails off. And whoever's here um, as a coach, if it's me or somebody else, they're going to get a, 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 a bunch of group, a group of hungry guys that's going to come out and be formidable next season. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you.